that's that's what you have said multiple times is the mental aspect for all athletes and bodybuilders are athletes it's one of the hardest sports in the world in my uh, in my opinion it's i always say this i've said it on this show before michael jordan could probably not eat for three days and still go win a game six in the finals you know because <laughs> he's so mentally strong yes yes but bodybuilders we can't miss anything you know what i mean no. because our physique is that's what it is it's our physique so we can't like not eat we can't not sleep you know there's so much like you just said you can't you got to stretch and everything even like tanning is is important oh yeah you know and yeah, that's stretching and tanning are two things for me that i kind of find a, to be a pain but <laughs> i do them i mean it's even tanning just something as simple as tanning like i'm like oh man i got to go in here and sit in this bed for nine minutes or whatever and even though it's 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 not that hard it's just like one an extra thing that you have to do if you want to look different you know what i mean so and it, it pays off but um yeah it's the mental side of it which is what you do is so incredibly important and i still feel like it's a new thing where people are like oh yeah i should talk to someone you know mm -hmm. yeah. i even d1 athletes i mean i you know i'm i'm a penn state guy I'm, i grew up near penn state university penn state football and there's probably players on that team that still don't understand the concept of i need to f talk to people like i need to talk to someone every week at least because you're under so much pressure as an athlete like that and that's just d1 football that's not even in the nfl you know yeah. So do you work with pro athletes? No, but I want to. Yeah. The thing is, again, uh, now the thing is I've already contacted UFC, but they, and they recognize the kind of work I do, but they already have their own in-house. Right. right. So it's about finding someone that, you know, is willing to put that investment in because it's not the, you know, the kind of work I do, it's not, you know, you're not going to be able to put an exact figure as far as, Am I going to get the return for, let's say, um, the owner of a, an or let's say, you know, a football team, as an example. So they have to realize the only way they'll see the result is, you know, are their players actually performing better because they're mentally stronger? They can kind of come back because let's say in team sports, a classic thing, because you see the training I got, Mark, I can work with individual athletes as well as teams. Because the training I got was through this program called, you know, Peak Performance Sports, and they're actually based in Florida. And their training is based on the mental game coaches that were used in the Olympics. So if it was good for Olympic team athletes, yeah. it's going to be pretty good for, for other people. But for teams, especially for teams, it's not wanting to, you know, let your team down, understandably so. But that can play in their mind as far as, let's say they play a game, everyone's really strong except for you. I don't mean you personally, but let's say you as the athlete, you're feeling like, in, and you lost, let's say the winning goal or whatever, touchdown or whatever, just depending on your sport, whatever that last point is, you can feel like you let your team down. Right. Well, how do you resolve that? You know, and it's learning how to work with that or people who athletes that will perform better in practice than they do in game time. Yeah. Or let's say they do well, but on the big championship games, that's where they tank. So it's learning, you know, there's a definite need. And most athletes understand there's a mental component. But the problem is a lot of people aren't willing to put the investment. But this is just as important, if not more important, than the physical training. Yeah. Because you can be physically in top-notch condition. If your mother dies before your show or your game do you can you like <laughs> this is the thing not yeah. to say physical training is not important it's absolutely what i'm saying is that any serious athlete will hire someone like myself you know whether it's individually or on the team because team cohesion obviously is important because sometimes not everyone in the team gets along and learning how to navigate that is its own little um uh, its own little piece but it can work, but it's again, 
are you going to invest in it? Because it's an investing in your performance because it's hard to measure. That's why people don't hire mental game coaches is because it's hard for, for them to kind of see the end result until they go through the process. But yeah, it feels like it's very early, even though many athletes, have, like the top, top level athletes have been doing it for years. I mean, like, and I think I've told you this before, Tom Brady, it's not like he doesn't know what he's doing, <laughs> you know, right. like, but guess what? He's got numerous coaches. Yeah. What does that tell you? If so you get a go, a, a grace of all time, if you get an athlete who's at the top, like one of the top tier athletes and they have multiple coaches, that's a strong message. They're staying on top for a reason. And sometimes it's the accountability. It doesn't It's not to say you don't know what to do. Sometimes we need the accountability. And guess what? We're all human. We all have insecurities. So you, you we all have bad days. Yeah. Do you know how to do extract the best when you're having a crappy day and you've got a championship game? Let's say you didn't sleep. Let's say you broke up with your boyfriend, girlfriend. Let's say your dog died and you're really close to your dog. I mean, there's so, so many things. Do you know how to bounce back? Just kind of, you know, shoving it inside and hoping for the best. It might work, but it may not. There's some guaranteed strategies that if you imp implement them, these will work. But you don't all of a sudden contact me the day before a championship game say, what can I do, Leslie? I can try, but a lot of this is anything. It's a skill. You need to practice it in before you hit your game, uh, before the game, the championship game, or even, even the, the smaller games. Absolutely. Yeah, there's there's so much that, that you mentioned in terms of like that can happen to you that isn't planned at all because it's never planned, honestly, yeah. anything that bad that happens. So absolutely, Leslie. 